uh, we are at Menemsha. We just finished leg number 11, which was Menemsha to the far end of Lobsterville Beach, which we thought was about a mile and a half, turned out to be closer to two miles, uh, but it was a beautiful swim gorgeous visibility, lots of underwater life, uh, had about six, seven swimmers with us, uh, one of whom was Danielle Albert, Hi. who was kind enough to join me. My family, bless their hearts, my mom and her husband, they've really spearheaded a foundation to change the language around mental health, which we've changed the dialogue towards mental health rather than mental illness. And that mental health is something you can recover with. But it's also a disability that isn't necessarily on the surface. It affects people of all ranges and all ages and of all distinction, but we don't always see that. So I'm glad you brought my awareness to dyslexia because it helps me see how we can we all struggle personally with, with some disability of some form and to bring bring light to these issues. It wasn't until it was in the water where it was really understanding the profound metaphor that met such a distance swim. Um, you have to have so much stamina and endurance and perseverance. You need your team. You need people supporting you through it. But <clears throat> you also encounter the insurmountability of what it must feel like to live life with dyslexia. I mean. You think you can and can do it, but you come up against the hurdles and the hardships that it's, it's quite difficult. What was it that enabled you to push through a very substantial swim? Well, it was the fact that I knew some people were on the shore, but I knew some people were still swimming too. And even though they were ahead of me, you know, I, I thought if they can do it, I can do it. And I just kept following them, even though some people had already reached the, the distance. So, so that right there yeah. is I kept going because some people had reached the goal, others were still pursuing it, and I knew I could get there. Yeah. That's kind of what noticeability and the curriculum that we're creating and these video blogs is all about. It's introducing those who are still struggling to the get a glimpse of the fact that the end yeah. It's worth the effort. Oh, yeah. And it pays dividends. Yeah, it's just yes. got to plug through. Yeah. Stroke after stroke. We are.